All right, so this video we're going to look at uh, simple value, uh, I'm sorry, future value or maturity value for simple interest. So here it says the future value or maturity value A, that would be this term, that's your future value of P dollars for T years at interest rate R per year is, and then A equals P times 1 plus RT. All right, so, so what's the future value? Well, all it is is the amount that you invested plus the interest, okay? So if you, if you look at it this way, okay, let's just let's look at it. So if you remember your simple interest formula, I equals PRT, okay? So this is the amount that you borrowed or invested or whatever, okay? So if you take that amount and you add the interest to it, that's what this is, okay? That's what A is equal to. So just look at it. A is equal to P plus, and what's I? Well, I is PRT, PRT. And so A is equal to, and then you can see here, I have a, I have a common factor of P, and so that's factor the P out and that leaves us with 1 plus RT and there's your future value. So that's all it is, is the the amount of money you borrow or invest or whatever plus the interest added on to it. Okay. Alright, so let's look at an example. So it says find the future value of the loan and, and notice this is the future value for simple interest. Uh, for simple interest, you got simple and you've got compound. Uh, the simple interest, that's typically on loans of less than a year. The compound is going to be for loans more than one year. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and work this problem. It says find the future value of the loan. So $3,475 loan at 7.5% interest for six months. All right, so let's remember our formula is A equals P times one plus RT. Okay, all right, so let's let's identify P, R, and T. So P is equal to the $3,475. R is your interest rate, R, that's the seven and a half percent interest, and when we write it, We'll convert it to a decimal by moving it two places to the left. And then T is the number of years. So if we write months, that's six months. And how many months are in a year? Twelve. So that would be six over twelve. And yes, you can reduce it to one half. It, it doesn't matter. Okay, it doesn't matter if you plug the one half into the formula or if you plug the six over twelve into the formula. It makes no difference. You're going to get the same answer either way. And I'll just go ahead and plug in the six over twelve. All right, so let's go ahead and work it. So I've got A equals P, which is the three thousand four hundred and seventy-five times one plus R T. Well, R is point zero seven five times the 6 over 12. All right. So now we've got to punch this into our calculator. I think the easiest way to put it into the calculator would to be the point zero seven five times 6 and hit equals. So I did the point zero seven five times 6, hit equals, divided by 12, hit equals, and that should give you for this, that should give you 0 0.0375. That's what this is. And then I'm going to add 1 to it, so plus 1, and hit equals. And then you should have 1.0375. And that's what this is in the parentheses. And now just hit times, and then the 3,475. And hit equals. And so that would be... Uh, three thousand six hundred five dollars and round it to two decimal places 31 cents and there's your answer all right so let's look at the 
next one it says Mike invested earnings of three thousand dollars in a savings account for college the account pays two and a half percent interest how much will this amount to in nine months okay well we've got the same the same thing here a equals P times 1 plus RT and won't you pa pause the video and see if you can work this problem and then play it and see if you got the answer correct alright so now we have P that's P is 3000 R is your interest rate so we'll convert that to decimal 0 0.025 and nine months. So T, that's the nine months over 12. Because remember, T has to be in years. All right, so let's plug it in. So we get A equals P, which is 3,000 times 1 plus R, 0 0.025, times, and then the nine over 12. Okay. All right, now. Let's just punch this in the calculator like we did the last one. So we got 0 0.025 times 9 equals, divided by 12, equals, plus 1 equals, times 3,000. And that is going to give us A is 3,500, $3,056.25. I think that's the last yeah, that's the last problem alright so that's that's future value I mean just plug it into the formula so I hope this helped check out the other videos and uh, give me a like share and subscribe and thanks for watching